Hello everyone. So this craft is about potential energy. Now, potential energy means the energy that it has the opportunity to use, but it's not currently using it, right? So a rubber band is an example of potential energy. Rubber bands sit there and when they're just sitting there, they're just sitting there but they have the potential to be stretched and snap back. They have the opportunity that they can do that and store that energy, right? So that's one type of energy. And then the other type of energy in this month's crafts are air power. So you know how you can blow and move something and the wind blows and moves leaves and stuff. That's air power. Inside your kits, you're going to have gotten a big bag of goodies, one piece of cardboard, one half of a sponge, and a parchment paper with duct tape on it. Now, there should be plenty of duct tape to do all of your different projects. Um, kind of take care of it, okay? What's cool is that it will come off of the paper, right? And it can stick back on. You can rip it into the sizes that you need, but I've included probably enough that you should be just fine. So I'm going to go over three different types of vehicles that you can make. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is a potential energy vehicle. And I've got two different styles that I made. Okay. Really, they're exactly the same except for what I did for wheels. So this one, we've got links for how to make this one specifically um, with our design squad global. Okay. And so you can follow along with the pictures for it and it should help. But what it does is you take a doweling or some type of like thin wooden stick and you can stick it through your piece of cardboard. So if you look through your, on your cardboard, you can see that there's little holes, right? This type of cardboard is corrugated. That's what it means when it's shaped like that. Do you see it? And your dowel can stick right through one. So you can do the one dowel through and you're going to cut out a notch and put your duct tape here. And when your rubber band goes along it, like that, and we twist, 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 and twist, 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 it stores energy in the rubber. And as we twist, 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 and we let go, the car will drive, the wheels will spin. You can see how wonky my wheels are, huh? You can just stick some duct tape to hold those onto the dowels, kind of mess around with it and figure it out. You could put something in the center to hold it. Um, a lot of instructions online called for foam. I didn't have much luck with that. All the foam pieces I had just kept exploding everywhere. So I didn't have a lot of luck with that. Um, I was thinking the sponge, but it didn't really work. So I ended up with just lots of duct tape and that held it on. Okay. Then another one is instead of putting just the one set of wheels, you could put wheels on both sides. Yeah. So I tried with just the small wheels on this, but it didn't work. It didn't have enough oomph for the wheels to turn around and get friction and drive along the ground. So you feel free to mess around and experiment and see what you can come up with. Another type of vehicle would be an air powered one. Okay. You can just use anything, any old container. You can use a tissue box, a water bottle, whatever. I use this yogurt container. You can see how my wheels weren't tall enough off the ground. I ended up having to cut part of my container off because it was dragging. So you mess around, you experiment, you figure it out. But the way that this one works is we trap the air into the balloon and then when it blows out, it's gonna drive. Ready? Ah! It drives a bit. I had to cut off this lip to make it drive better because it kept dragging. But that's the fun thing with this type of uh, activity is trial and error. And we build that computational thinking and that um, logic building. So I used small rubber bands to hold the wheels onto the dowels. And I did end up using an X-Acto knife, a really sharp blade to cut through the container so I could run it through. So get parents help with that. And then tape the straw to the top. Now use the thin bits when you're taping it and use some bigger bits to kind of do this. And it's hard. It is hard to get the balloon around the straw. So just keep trying, just keep taping it. Keep taping it until it stays. And some air will leak, listen. 
hear it? It leaks, and that's just what it is. Then the third type that you can build is a hovercraft. So this one, you use a CD and a sponge, and it you poke a hole through the sponge so the straw can go through. See it's sticking out just right there. And then once again, tape that guy down. Tape, 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 and just keep taping until it stays on there. You can push the straw through a little bit. And then the straw goes up level with the bottom of the CD and it hovers around. So that one works because the air is blowing out and it's creating like a whole barrier of air that lifts the CD up and hovers around. And this one's really fun too. So all of these have instructions on our Design Squad Global and I'm going to include um, like a link for them and such. And if you have any questions, ask your librarians. They know all this stuff, right? Um, they should have plenty of supplies for extra pieces if stuff happens to be missing from your kits. I did my best, but we all make mistakes, right? And then most of the stuff is replaceable with things that you have at home. So mess around, see what you've got, see what you can create, and send your librarians those pictures, okay? I'm so excited to see how you guys design them and how you build them. Thanks a lot.